Welcome to our episode 9 of Fluid Mechanics tutorial series. Today we are going to cover rigid body motion. So this is the last topic in the chapter Fluid Statics. To study the pressure variation in an accelerating tank, we start from the general motion without shearing stress. And the governing equation is negative gradient of pressure minus gamma k equals rho a. And we expand the gradient of pressure that becomes partial p partial x by partial p partial y j. And we also have a equals so. And for each component, we write down an equation. And since the water tank here has no motion along x direction, we set ax equals 0. And if you are familiar with multivariable calculus, the total differential of pressure equals partial p partial x dx plus. And this one goes 0. And we plug in the previous results. And we factor the row out. For constant pressure line, we have dp equals 0, so we have ay dy plus equals 0. And if we solve for dz dy, and dz dy are actually the slope of this line. And if we mark this angle as theta, then this is tangent theta. So we now do two examples with the formula we just derived. Here is the first one. To understand this question, we first draw a schematic. And this is one. In the previous formula we just derived, we assume that there is no motion in the x direction. So we set x direction to this direction with no motion. And the motion is in y, so this is y, and this is z with the gravity. We write down the previous formula, the z dy equals a y divided by and we are just taking care about the magnitude. For the water to spill, we must have the water to become like this. So this slope is 1 to 2 and this is 1 to 2 and there is no motion in that direction. So this goes 0 and we conclude that a y equals half g that is 4.91 meter per square second. Then we move on to the second example. We are interested in the angle. So we write down tangent theta equals... But what are these two guys? So we now have to draw the free body diagram for the tank on the inclined slope. And we let this angle as phi in order not to confuse with the free surface angle theta. And we set our coordinate system. But still, we can do force balance in these two directions. But this direction is parallel to the inclined plane and this is normal to the inclined plane and the weight itself can be decomposed into this component and this component and this component is mg sine phi and mg cosine phi and we do Newton's second law on the plane direction so we have mg sine phi equals ma parallel where this component is parallel to the inclined plane and we cancel out the mass so we have a parallel equals g sine phi for the normal component we observe that the block just always stack to the plane and it does not fly off the plane so this one equals zero and this in fact is the total acceleration we now decompose the acceleration into two components that is a z and a y and this angle is phi so for a y we have a cosine phi and that is g sine phi cosine phi for a z since its direction goes against the coordinate system we just defined so that is negative a sine phi and that is negative g sine phi so we now plug in the formula and we get tangent theta equals and that is So this cancels out and we get 
but this in fact is cosine squared phi. So this cancels out and we have left with tangent phi. So we have theta equals phi. We conclude that the free surface is parallel to the inclined surface. So today we showed how pressure varies in a fluid when it undergoes linear rigid body motion. We also worked through two examples about that. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Feel free to ask us any question and give us any feedback in the comments.